Well, tickety boom. Wanna see a trick? Well, it requires this coin just here. Now this is an American half dollar, but any coin can be used. I'll place the coin in my wonderful left hand. I snap and I rub, the coin disappears. Now I'll take this handkerchief over here, a silk, even a napkin can be used. My right hand is empty, and if you watch a little wave of the handkerchief and the coin comes straight back. Wanna learn how this trick is done? Then stick around. Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks from fantastic books and all that to make your world a little bit more magical. Now today, I've got a nice little effect from the classic book, The Modern Coin Magic of JB Bobo. Although not quite so modern anymore. Now this is a fantastic book. If you're a beginner in coin magic, you definitely want to get this. Now you can get the paperback version, which is this, which is quite cheap. A very good price. And this one has got some new material in it, updated, lovely pictures in it. This is a classic in coin magic. This is like a bit of a quick video today. I haven't had much time to load anything. I've been practicing a lot of effects from all different books. I've got some material from the 13 Steps of Mentalism. I've got effects from Art of Astonishment by Paul Harris and also other various books because I love books, 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 books. I can't even get a nerf. And the effect I'm showing you today is actually under Quick Tricks on page 83. It's called Smart Coin Trick, which I think is a lovely little piece of magic. Now, I know you're thinking, oh my God, Dan Tricks doing a tutorial. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. To be honest, this is quite an old book. It's a classic in magic, and I just thought I'd share a little piece with you out of this book. There are all sorts of things you can learn in here. This is just one effect you can learn, so don't miss this out. Obviously, go through it and have a look how Jay Bobo describes it. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. It's really, really nice. You may have skipped past it, or you may have even seen it and thought, I can't do that, but actually, it's not that difficult. So, let's get into the little tutorial of it. See what you think. Please, if you like this sort of content, smash the like button. And also, I'd love to hear what you think with a little comment down there. Okay, now this is how it's done from your view. You take the coin from here, placing it on the finger, balancing it. Now what happens is this hand comes round the coin like so. And as it does, it curls under, the thumb takes over, keeping this finger inside sliding it on the back of the hand. Now that finger comes out of the fist. You show this hand empty, you snap, you rub, and the coin looks like it's completely disappeared. Obviously you can see it from this angle. Now you take a handkerchief, a napkin, whatever, and look, this hand is empty. You then drop it onto the hand and reveal the coin. Now, making sure that this the coin is held like so. You'll have to practice this in front of a mirror, keeping this finger inside, keeping your index finger inside the fist. It comes out, show the hands empty. Now you can wear a rubber band or a watch or something to hold the coin. And you just take the handkerchief, drop it onto the fist, onto the hand, sorry, and there it is. You produce the coin. A nice, simple little effect. Give it a go. So, from the front view again. Now, of course, if you're not wearing a watch or a rubber band or anything like that, you can just rub a bit of saliva on the back of your hand. And if you've got quite dry skin, it will stop it from falling off. Now, if you take the coin, like I said, keep the finger in the fist, pushing it onto the back of the fist, like so, pull out the finger, point, show the hand empty, rub the coin has vanished obviously on the back of the hand take the handkerchief or the silk and you just show your hand like so and there you go drop it onto the hand make sure you practice it in front of the mirror do your hair makeup whatever give it a go so there you have it a smart coin trick on page 83 be sure to check that out as I say, I only went through it briefly with you. As you can see, it's not a hard trick to learn. Obviously, practice it in front of the mirror. You can wear a watch 
or an elastic band or whatever bit of saliva to hold the coin on. So have a go, play about with that one, and I hope you enjoy it. Coin Magic has grown so much since this book came out, but still, I think this has stood the test of time. You've got all sorts of different effects, and here are just a few you can learn. sorts in here some brilliant effects you've got some great coins across routines a brilliant coins to glass coins go from one hand into a glass I've covered that trick before so make sure you check out all my other videos there's coin vanishes there's coin through the hand through the leg all sorts so make sure check it out if it's on your shelf get it off your shelf dust it off and get practicing so there you go I know done a tutorial so be it out of a classic book a simple little video just to show you what you can learn from an excellent classic i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe press the bell so you get notified of all my videos i will be covering more effects from some fantastic books and a bit more so at the moment i've sort of not really had time to load a video i've sort of done this one quite quickly i'll be trying to do a little show reel for some agents so i can further up my magical career i want to get busy doing that i've had enough of being an electrician the old knees aren't what they used to be <laughs> so thanks for watching keep the magic real and i'll see you in the next video